Hey guys, Igor Ra, back again with another action figure review. This time we're looking at the Marvel Mezco 112 Collective Blade. Regular release, because there is an exclusive out there from Toy Fair. Very limited and hard to get. So, I'm just happy with this regular blade. Very excited for this figure. And the back side shows all of the accessories, which he looks like it comes with a lot. And then we have some photos down below showing some poses he's in. So if you guys are interested in this figure, you can actually pick it up at onestoptoyshop.com. The, uh, the links are down below. So check it out. There's Instagram, Facebook, and his website. So hit up Austin for your order of Blade or any other Mezco figures for that matter. So check this out. We have a little note by Mezco saying, Figure sword sheath. Clips onto a magnetic clip that holds onto figures back with a magnet. Sheath can be worn on top of coat or without the coat. So it sounds like it's a pretty pretty strong magnet there. And what it's referring to is this clip right here. Pretty interesting that they gave us a little note for that. I guess there was a chance that people might not get it. But uh, yeah, there it is. There's a magnet on his back and you can clip the clip. And this clip is to hold the sheath there. And you can actually do it with the coat on which is quite interesting so the figure looks great to be honest right off the bat it looks real good it gives me this um like punisher vibe like this figure is on par with that release in terms of uh accessories too uh it's giving me some some punisher vibes for sure uh will this turn out to be as rare or as sought after as that one maybe not but uh maybe so who knows uh but we got some leather or pleather for the pants here and it looks really nice it really does and we have a little uh holster here on the on the side of the thigh which i'll show you what it holsters in a second we got some holsters on the belt very good very nice so he comes packed in like this without the coat uh, the coat is separately packed in we have a leather coat here and it looks nice it has an actual working zipper it comes zipped up let's get it focused real quick on actually let's get closer to it and you can see the texture on that and what it's made of looking really nice it looks like it's a new coat too and let's see how the zipper works here there you go so on the inside it is red very nice it looks like we have some bendy wire for the edges of the coat too and we'll apply that in a second to him let's carry on with the accessories that he comes with here he has a shotgun now I don't have the Toy Fair exclusive I don't know if that one comes with more weapons than this or not I can't confirm that I watched the review a while ago but I can't remember whether or not it has more accessories I know it comes with a bald head so it does have different uh, you know accessories in terms of that anyways before I get carried away here's the shotgun very nice uh, you can uh, pump it here it's a little loose for my liking but still it's the fact that you can still pump the shotgun it's always nice there's not any actual shotgun shells which they normally do that, but we do have a actual uh, strap here, which looks really nice, and it has a clip <laughs> where you can actually, it's, it's a working uh, clip, I don't know what this is called in real life, but uh, yeah, you can actually pull this back and clip it onto that, so that's nice, I like when they do stuff like that. Then we have a uh, submachine gun, don't know the name of it, but I know it's a submachine gun, so... I always like the detail that they do on their weapons and the fact that it always comes with an extra magazine, a removable magazine too. You can see the bullet there. It's always nice. We have a bullet hole so you can put some effects here. So we got some effects that we're familiar with. So we have this right here. We got this with Punisher. And uh, I think we got this with Punisher too. So you can stick this in here. And I do notice that they, uh, they made this piece white now. Maybe it's a stronger plastic because I think they were breaking off of some people's guns. But yeah, you can fit that one on there, and then I think you can also fit this one here too. There you go. Always nice to have these effects. Always nice. I think this would work better on the shotgun. Let's see if you can apply this on the shotgun. Yes, you can. So that does look better for the shotgun. Here we have these rocket-looking uh, bullets or accessories here. There's not a specific name for this. On the back of the box, it just uh, labels the shotgun, the effects, these, and some other accessories here, which I'll show you in a second, these right here. They label it as vampire slaying accessories. That's how they, they labeled it on the box, which I found that kind of funny. And these you can actually holster on the side of his leg here, so you can see how you can fit this in here. So that slides in like that. Or you can put it the other way too, if you, if you wish to put it up. And you can put three, it looks like you can put three 
here and then as for the other three because we get a total of six uh, I think you just have an extra extra set in case you lose any of these so that brings us to these vampire slaying accessories uh, very nicely done uh, I can see these breaking if you are a little rough with them I don't think you can turn them try oh yeah you can it's a little stiff but yeah you can turn them like this so that's nice to see and then as for the hands we have a pair of fists on the figure we have one right hand that has a uh, an open hand but the fingers are close together we have a pair of grabbing hands a pair of trigger finger hands so this is for the weapons we have this left hand that is posed like this only this one hand it's like he's clawing somebody then this left hand is uh, to grip the under barrel of the shotgun I would assume then we have this left hand with a thumbs up here this could be for these accessories here like this and we have a right hand that has the two uh, the middle finger and the uh, index finger posed as so and we get not one not two not three but four of the same sunglasses why do we get four i don't know mesco likes to do this sometimes they give us uh they give us a lot of extras of the same thing um i i guess their intention is if you lose it you have some more but we do only get two heads here so you can have them both with the glasses and then you'll still have an extra set of glasses which is nice to have for other figures maybe but here is this other head so i might as well show it since we're talking about it and the glasses fit on just fine i do feel like trying to get focused like his teeth are kind of slanted on mine i don't know do you see that my am, am i being too picky here i don't know but i do like the sculpt i do like his haircut his tattoo on the back and his, uh, his expression of the vampire teeth here. And then without the glasses, he looks like this. As for the head that comes attached on the figure, here it is. And I want to put the glasses on and see how it looks with the glasses. I do like that these glasses seem to uh, not look awkward. They look good. Sometimes when you get removable glasses like this, they don't look great on some figures. But Mesco really did a good job with these. So we're not done yet. We're almost done though. We have the sheath that we mentioned earlier with the sword right here and then you can of course put the sword inside the sheath as so and then the clip that the little warning sign showed us right here and then that clips onto his back so you can sheath it just like this so checking out blade up close we see the t-shirt he's wearing the belt and just a closer look at the uh, t the texture and the sculpt on the boots here looks nice so let's get on to the articulation i still got this piece here <laughs> Oh, well, let's leave it there. So the head will swivel left and right on our typical Mezco ball joint. It's going to look up. It will look down a lot, which is nice. You can see how the tattoo on his neck will connect with the head. All right, so the arms are going to go forward. It goes all the way up without any hinder, so that's nice. And that is without the coat. I, I assume that with the coat, it's going to get really hindered. We'll check that out. The arms are going to go up a lot. It was under my impression or under a lot of people's uh, theory that this is the body mold used for Gomez could be not sure but if it is then it is highly articulated so we get a bicep swivel a double jointed elbow a swivel at the wrist with a hinge we have a diaphragm joint that swivels goes forward and back there is a waist swivel now this belt is a loose piece that keeps going up so it's a little annoying but we do have the pants combined with the shirt but it's meant to be covered so you can't tell there you go so the legs will kick forward but well let's pan out here all right so the leg will kick forward about this far could be higher but that's as far as it goes in and out about this far we have a thigh swivel double jointed knee and we have a boot cut an ankle hinge a pivot which is not too bad i've seen worse and then there's a swivel at the ankle too so with these side holsters, you can place some of his accessories here. So I'm going to try to deck him out with the most that I can fit on him. So these are going to have to close here. So be careful. Always want to be careful. And then these just slide in perfectly. Look at that. I like that. And I don't see why you would want to, but it is removable to uh, to remove the belt completely. You, you get it to look like this. But if you ever want to put it on another figure, then you have the option to remove this off of this blade here. And man, yes, this is looking good. I definitely want to display this guy with the coat on. It looks 
so much better. I mean, it looks great. I mean, it looks good without it too, but this completes the figure for sure. So very nice. They did a great job with the coat. I think they did a, I mean, it looks good. <laughs> it really does look good. Fits him well. No problems there. If I had any issue, it would be the zipper's pretty big, of course, because it's got a gotta fit our hands to, to work it can be that small and it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb a little bit you know it's just a big big zipper but it's not horrible I mean it could be worse um, but yeah that's that's probably my only gripe with the coat other than that it looks great let's try let's try and see if it's true if this magnet holds up through the yep it does it is strong enough to uh, to hold the sword through the coat right there so very nice, very nice. So next to a couple of Punishers here by Mezco. This is their 112 Collective uh, original release Punisher. And then this is the Comic-Con exclusive from last year, I believe it was. Uh, the Spec Ops Punisher on the right side. I don't have the Punisher. I think it was the fully loaded Punisher that came with the coat, I think. I could be wrong. There's like five Punishers, but I don't have it. These are the only two that I have. Uh, but I, I really do put this blade uh, up with these guys i think i think this is um definitely one of their best uh, figures for sure next to another mezco with a coat we have old man logan and it just seems like all their figures that have coats uh are really well made are really well done so i really like this logan figure a lot they did a great job with this coat too and um yeah definitely looks good and there we have next to the mcu thor ragnarok thor and now next to the Homecoming Spider-Man Stark suit. I just reviewed this one too. And here we have Steve Rogers. And here he is next to the mascot himself, Gomez. And a few couple random figures I have sitting next to me here is Michael Myers, also Mezco 112. And they're Jason Voorhees. So I thank you guys for joining me on this review of the Mezco 112 Collective standard release of Blade. Definitely think you guys can't pass this one up. I, I just feel like he's going to sell out. I feel like he's gonna be a Punisher. He's gonna be like a Popeye, where he he's he's really hot, and he's gonna he's gonna be gone before you know it. So hit up one stop toy shop before they're gone, seriously, because you might regret it. He might become another Punisher. I don't know, but I do put him up there next to him. Whether he sells a lot, whether he whether he pegs shelves or or doesn't sell at all, I think this is still a great figure nonetheless. And and you, any Marvel fan should really should really grab him because he's. He's definitely the best Blade figure out there right now. So, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, have a great day. Bye.